A big advantage of Kentucky playing host to Long Beach State at 1 o'clock. The boys in blue got a chance to go home early for Christmas. Maybe they went home a little too early. Even the Wildcat was already in a Santa outfit. Come on. Early on, John Wall pressing the ball in the backcourt. Punches it out. Gets it back to throw it down. Then it's Eric Bledsoe feeding the big man, DeMarcus Cousins, a tractor trailer, filling the lane. But Cousins would get into foul trouble. He picks up the flat foul here, and then the push leads to a T. That's number two. He's sitting the rest of the half. Patrick Patterson had a pair of blocks, and this one led to an easy basket. Wall finds DeAndre Liggins on the other end. We're tied at 11. Now it's time for the big dog to go to the hole, gathers the loose ball. Patterson with 15 points and 11 boards. The 49ers were stroking it in the first half. Stefan Galing, Cal, not a happy camper. Four of Kentucky's five starters, two fouls at the end of the first half. We're tied at 37. Kentucky just 6-19 from the land of three, but Big Cuz cleans it up. 15 points and 10 boards for Cousins. Now look at this pass here from Daniel Orton to Ramon Harris off the inbounds. Fooled you. Harris was seven. Then the Cats down 46-44. Bledsoe, three ball, corner pocket. He had 11. This time Bledsoe is going to find Wall spotting up and dialing it up from distance. Kentucky does not look back. They go on to beat Long Beach State 86-73. Wall leads all scorers with 19. But this wasn't exactly an early Christmas present. We've got a good team. I mean, I'm proud of them. I'm ha- I told them the last statement I made at halftime, folks, was now. All that being said, I don't even care what happened in the first half. I want to see you play in the second half. And no one else will care how you played in the first half. Just ball in the second half. And uh, the only thing I said after, I probably would have liked this to come down to a buzzer shot and we win to really teach them a lesson because now they think, well, we can play for a half and still win. Louisville took on Louisiana Lafayette tonight. Former GRC Cardinal Preston Knowles had it going. The deep three. Knowles with 11, but the man of the night for Louisville was Samardo Samuels. Look at the big man run the court, the finish. Samuels with 13 points, 9 rebounds as Louisville handles the Raging Cajuns, 84-69. Huggy Bear in his 6th ranked undefeated Mountaineers taking on 15th ranked Ole Miss. Devin Ebanks is big time. Goes high off the glass. Ebanks with 14 points and 13 boards. The Rebels tried to make a late run. But they would fall short. West Virginia remains perfect. They beat Ole Miss 76 to 66. Well, Randall Cobb has gone bald for the Music City Bowl. Cobb met 13-year-old Bradley Wilson the other night. Wilson lives in Louisville, and he has leukemia. So in a sign of solidarity, Cobb shaved his head. We caught up with Randall just before he headed to the barber shop and talked to him about the impact he can make on a young person's life. That's the, that's the type of person I want to be. I want to be somebody that can inspire somebody. And uh, he just, uh, just to see that smile on his face, I know I, I made his day that day. We always say what it, he has it, but he, he knows he gets it also. I mean, he's one of those guys that uh, cherishes the moment to, to make somebody laugh and make somebody's day day better. You know, I feel like I was a blessing to him, but I don't, I don't think he realized it, but he was really a blessing to me too. Get out of the way when Big Cuz comes down the lane. Rocking the rim is DeMarcus Cousins. Honestly, who's going to take a charge from that? Can I get a show of hands? Nobody thought so. That's why it's our Jack Cade Ford play of the day.